And it looks like we, we, we're continuing to have people join in. We've got a nice group here. Uh, Keandra, welcome Keandra. There's people that's just continuing to join. All right. I can't even keep track of everybody. There's a lot of people joining on today. Okay, I've got, I've, I've, we're on record. And so I just wanted to let everybody know that um, my name is Barbara and I'm a, a wellness advocate for doTERRA. And this class is going to, um, we're going to discuss health and wellness um, as well as the use of essential oils. And in particular, this class, we're going to be going into some of the, uh, the foundation oils, all right? Um, at the end of class, so I hope everybody can stay to the end of class. I got a very special gift, um, actually two gifts, um, for, uh, for two uh, winners today. One is going to be, I've got their, their two really cool booklets. One, this is essential oils and it's all diffuser blends. This book just goes into many diffuser blends. There's also a lot of information that it gives as far as you know, oils and how to select a diffuser and why to diffuse. So it, it goes all into diffusing of the essential oils. Then I have another very, very special booklet. And this is all about um, sprays, different sprays and different blends. And um, so it gives the recipes for the different sprays. Uh, it also, it talks about uh, you know, like mood and sleep and concentration and uh, just all types of, um, of, of, of uh, blends and sprays that you can make for your home. So this is actually something that I've been going into quite a bit for myself lately. Um, and so it's something that, um, you know, I, I figured if I'm interested and if I'm excited about it, then there's probably others out there that will also be um, interested in it. So I'm so, so glad uh, to have all of you here today. Um, and the topic of this class, as you could see from what's on my screen, is there's an oil for that. Now, what does that mean? That phrase, there's an oil for that. Many of us that's on the Zoom call right now has heard this phrase uh, used very many times, but what does it mean? Okay, what is that, that idea of there's an oil for that? What does that mean, right? In other words, there are many issues, there are many situations, uh, there are many events that there's going to be an essential oil that quite possibly could help us out. Okay, so what can doTERRA essential oils do for you? What are some of the situations that we might, we might look to oils to actually help us? All right, so things such as depression or ADHD, or pain, or sore throat, or headaches, anxiety, uh, uh, inflammatory issues, indigestion, muscle aches, uh, antibacterial stress, burns, earaches, insect repellent, better sleep, antifungal, purification. Look at all, and this is just a small sampling of some of the things that doTERRA essential oils can do for you. So when we say that and we, we, we make that, uh, that claim or we use that term, there's an oil for that. It's not just a cliche. That's a very true statement. So there are some very amazing facts about essential oils. Now this first one, I am going to test it, okay? I have not tested number one is how to test your essential oil for purity. But I thought it was really interesting and I plan on doing this. So you place a drop of essential oil on a piece of construction paper. Wait 15 minutes and if there's an oily spot left, that is not a pure essential oil. Now essential oils, we all understand, those of us that are on this call that use essential oils regularly, you understand that if you put a drop of oil on your hand and if you do not rub and get it where it needs to go fast, you'll all of a sudden look at your hand and say, hey, what, what happened to it, right? It's because of the fact that it, it literally uh, evaporates very, very quickly into the air, 
all right? So, um, so if, if there's oil left on a, on a piece of construction paper, the reason that you would know that it's not pure is because that should all have evaporated very quickly, all right? Just because of the, the chemical constituents of an essential oil. Now, these are just some really good facts that I, I, wanted, to, I wanted to just kind of get people just excited to, to learn. And, and because I think, you know, these things to me are just amazing facts. Imagine 4,000 pounds of Bulgarian roses. And if you have never seen what it looks like to harvest Bulgarian roses, I would suggest that you do a Google search on Bulgarian rose harvest, doTERRA. Make sure you put doTERRA in there because doTERRA is very, very, um, uh, they're, they're all about co-impact sources, all right, of these, of these farmers there in Bulgaria that are, that are harvesting these roses. But just imagine 4,000 pounds of Bulgarian roses to make a single pound of rose essential oil. That makes you understand why this oil is so expensive. It smells so wonderful, but it is a very expensive oil. It is probably the most expensive oil that doTERRA offers. Now, fact number three, I thought was out of all of these facts, I think fact number three is the most Exciting one for me. Some plants provide more than one oil. So from one tree, one orange tree, you get three different oils. You get neroli oil from the blossom, you get pettigrain oil from the leaves, and you get orange oil from the fruit. That, that's a beautiful, that just so beautiful that you can have one tree providing three different very beneficial oils. All right, now also the, the uh, peppermint, which I diffuse that, that's the peppermint oil is the oil that I diffuse during the day um, in my living spaces. So in my kitchen, in my living room, I've got peppermint and right now I'm, I'm diffusing harvest spice um, and a couple drops of, of peppermint in there. And I can tell you, and we're gonna talk a little bit about weight loss uh, later on in this class, but I can tell you that I hardly ever get hungry. I have peppermint diffusing all the time. And, and it's, it's no surprise that I just, I, I, I'll, I'll drink my coffee in the morning, I eat breakfast because I absolutely have to, but when, when it gets toward the end of the day, I would, I, I usually, I totally skip dinner. Like last night I had a, it was just like a like a smoothie with uh, with some uh, DoTerra Terra greens in it, and that was what I had for dinner, and I was fine. I wasn't hungry. Well, could it be the peppermint oil that I'm diffusing? And that's a really interesting fact. There, fact number four. It takes 30 pounds. Fact number five. 30 pounds of lavender flowers to make one 15 ml bottle of lavender essential oil. So next time you get that bottle of lavender in the mail. Think about how much lavender went into making that one bottle. So we're gonna get right on into the class, but I wanted to just kind of get everybody excited there with those facts, because I know it excited me um, to actually even read those things um, and to, to incorporate that into my PowerPoint. What are essential oils, all right? Now, most people on this, on this call know already what essential oils are, however, Many that are on this call are very new. What are essential oils? They are naturally occurring volatile aromatic compounds. So these are not synthetic chemical compounds. These are naturally occurring, all right? They're found in the seeds, the barks, the stems, the roots, the flowers, and other parts of the plants, just like I was talking about with that orange tree. And they protect the plants against environmental threats and they provide beneficial properties. They're highly concentrated when distilled for purity, potency, and efficacy. That is doTERRA. Highly concentrated and totally pure. 
That's what that CPTG stamp stands for that's on our products. That's why doTERRA is going to be a little more expensive than some of the other oils on the markets. But guess what? You get what you pay for when, it, when you're talking about essential oils. A little bit goes a long way because they are highly potent. And they're historically used for food preparation, beauty treatment, and healthcare practices. And here are two of some of my absolute favorite oils, wild orange. Wild orange is an oil that is used in many of doTERRA's blends. They cleanse, they purify, you can put it in your water, you diffuse it. It is an unbelievably wonderfully smelling oil. Frankincense. I put frankincense in my body and on my body daily. It's very relaxing. It's very good for your skin. It is totally, totally awesome for cellular function. Why? Because it literally can diffuse passively through the lipid membrane of a cell. And don't get loose started on apoptosis now. Frankincense actually encourages apoptosis to happen, destroying the bad and keeping the good. Why? Why doTERRA oils? Because they are certified pure therapeutic grade. And we, just a couple weeks ago, we talked about the difference between doTERRA oils and the rest of the oils on the market. doTERRA is the standard for purity. And they're, they're, they're literally going to, they're going to narrow the margins for the standards of essential oil. Because right now it's a very unregulated industry. And there's a lot of, uh, of, of adulteration going on with, with essential oils, not so with doTERRA. And so we are actually the gold standard that's actually being used to, 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 uh, for the standards to be actually uh, held up against doTERRA standards. So that's how, uh, how pure and how uh, uh, potent and therapeutically uh, 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 graded these oils actually are. They're free from fillers, artificial ingredients, they're free from contaminants, they're free from pesticides, they are organic. But totally separate from being organic, they are certified pure therapeutic grade. All right, so I'm, gonna, I'm going to say that CPTG a couple times during this, the course of this, of this Zoom because I really want to impress upon you the importance of using doTERRA oils as opposed to the other oils on the market. And I have tried, and many others that are on the Zoom call have tried as well. And you will very quickly see the difference between what is pure, what is unadulterated, and what is very potent. All right, they provide health conscious individuals with safe and natural alternatives. That's a very important thing, is that we have alternatives to our healthcare. We don't have to just grab whatever over-the-counter medication that's filled with all kinds of synthetics and chemicals and things. We actually, there are uh, 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 alternatives, healthy and natural alternatives, all right? There's a wide range of emotional and physical wellness applications to these, these oils. And this is a very, very nice thing. They have few, if any, undesirable side effects. Oftentimes, one drop is all you need. And that is very important. So when I say how, how pure and potent they are, that's the reason that you need so very little. Okay, so you might pay a couple dollars more for, for a doTERRA essential oil, but guess what? You're also going to be using less, all right? One of the beautiful things about doTERRA's oils are also is that you know that when you purchase oils from doTERRA, you're making a difference in this world because doTERRA utilizes what's called co-impact sourcing. We try to impact the farmers that so beautifully impact us. Because without these farmers, we wouldn't have these beautiful oils. So actually, when we, when we have these partnerships, we are benefiting them as well as them benefiting us. And we're, we can talk more about um, you know, the co-impact sourcing um, at another time, but that is a very, very important thing to doTERRA. It's not just 
about the oils. It's also about making a difference in the lives of others. And I think that that's a very, very, it's a beautiful, um, uh, a beautiful message that doTERRA sends throughout the world. And we're going to talk and I'm going to show you um, a picture of all the countries that doTERRA harvests these beautiful oils from. Anyway, um, there's uh, cooperatives that, that are actually um, uh, doTERRA organizes the farmers in. And what those cooperatives do, they create jobs and they improve income. So they're benefiting and impacting those that are harvesting and growing and, and distilling these beautiful oils for us. All right. Not only does it, does it benefit them, but it also provides a stable pricing. You know that the oils are trustworthy. The buyers, we create long-term relationships with, uh, with those that, that, we, uh, that we harvest the oils with. It empowers the growers, it empowers the families, it empowers the communities. And these communities are oftentimes in impoverished, I'm sorry, impoverished nations. Nations such as Haiti, Madagascar. These are some of the poorest nations on the planet. All right, how do we use essential oils? Now, this is where doTERRA really shines, okay? Because most oils that you're going to find on the market, they're going to say to use them in your diffuser, to use them on your body, but do not ingest these oils. They will say on the body, not for internal use. Now, you tell me why you could have a bottle of wild orange and you can eat an orange, but you're not supposed to eat or, or drink the essential oil. Now, by drinking, I'm not saying you're just opening the bottle and drinking it. I'm talking about putting a drop or two in your water. So you tell me why you could not put a drop of wild orange in your, in your water, but yet you can eat an orange? It makes absolutely no sense. Why do they say not for internal use? Well, there's reasons behind that. The reason that they say not for internal use is because they put ingredients in these oils to stretch the oil so that there's less of the, the essential oil, which is not even uh, a certified pure therapeutic grade anyway, but they put synthetic products in there. That's why you cannot use them internally. So when they say on the bottle, not for internal use, don't use it internally. But doTERRA's oils, when you look at the bottle of most of doTERRA's oils, there are a few oils that are supposed to go inside of your body. That is a fact. But you look at doTERRA's oils, in the side of the bottle, if it says supplement facts, that is your cue that you can use that internally. And not only that you can, but that you should use it internally. Because these oils do some wonderful things inside of your body. All right, five reasons why you should use essential oils for your health. One reason and probably the biggest reason is that they are nature's most powerful medicine. Now, how beautiful is that? We understand that, that God created all of these plants and trees and flowers and fruits and all of the, the grasses and all of these things. They're there for a reason. We just have to find out what that reason is. And that's what doTERRA's mission is, is to find the medicine that is in nature. That's why every year, and, and even sometimes more than once a year, doTERRA comes out with new oils. Reason why is because there are so many of them out there. We have yet to even, to, we have yet to find all of them. It will take a lifetime and more so than to, to find all of them. But here's a really interesting thing that most oils are concentrated between 50 to 70 times more than herbs. So herbs are good, but essential oils are actually better. They're giving you very high levels of the plant's natural defense against bacteria, 
and infection. And your body naturally knows how to work with plants and oil-based compounds. Isn't that awesome? It's almost as though there's communication between the processes that go on inside of the human body and the processes that go on inside of the plants. And anybody that understands anything about botany understands that there are some very complex processes that happen inside of plants. One drop of peppermint is equal to 28 cups of peppermint tea. Why is that? Just the reason that I said, because they're more concentrated than the herb. Teas are, are they, they are derived from the herbs, all right? The dried leaves, the dried stem, the dried bark, the dried flower. The essential oils are different. That's why they are so much more powerful and potent. Now what history always knew, science now can prove. Even the father of medicine used to use essential oils. That was over 2,000 years ago. Now with advances in distillation methods and more scientific studies to prove their value, they're making a huge comeback in healthcare. Now there's a website, it's called pubmed.gov. You can actually find many scientific studies being done with essential oils. Whoops, I'm sorry. All right, essential oils. This is a proven fact that they kill viruses and bad bacteria. All right, very, very important to understand that. All right, certain, and but they have to be very high quality essential oils, okay? They're naturally known to, to take care of bacteria and viruses. That's exactly the reason why they're in the plants because plants actually need, they need these defenses against the, the I mean, they're, they're constantly bombarded with viruses and bacteria as well. It's not just us that's, that's bombarded with them. So some essential oils have actually even been proven to kill superbugs like MRSA. You want to talk about oregano? This is a powerhouse powerhouse for killing bacteria. Because of the fact that essential oils are lipid soluble, soluble, that means it's a, it's like a lipid is kind of like an oil or a fat. It can easily penetrate a cell. Why? Because cells are literally lipid. The, the cells have a membrane around them, which is a lipid membrane. And so they easily pass. There's no, there's no effort needed. For, for the oils to pass through the cell membrane. And they easily do that and they destroy viruses, which as we understand, viruses actually hide inside of our cell, which is where they do their dirty work, all right? And then they, they, they grow and they, they, they mutate and they bust out of the cell and then they release all of that, uh, the, the, the viruses or the, 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 the proteases and the uh, the macrophages and all these things, they release them into the body and then they continue to do the dirty work within our bodies. And that's when we get sick, okay? When enough of that happens and our body is not able to fight it off quickly enough, that's when we get sick. So amazingly, essential oils do not disturb good bacteria in the gut, all right? Or nor do they allow the body to build up resistance now, essential oils are not addictive. They have no known side effects, all right? Now, most of the medicines today, and I think that this is actually a beautiful thing, is that some, you know, pharmaceuticals are actually made based upon, um, you know, the inspiration that they're, they're getting from these plant-based um, uh, uh, essential oils, okay? They've been synthetically recreated, which can be toxic. That's why they're toxic because pharmaceuticals are more often than not, they are synthetically created in the labs. Essential oils, on the other hand, are natural. They're gentle on the body. They're good for prevention as well as symptom management. Now that's what I'm all about. I'm all about prevention. I would rather fight the battle to keep myself sick than to fight an even harder battle to take care of the sickness that I already have. It's a much harder battle. It's just like if you've got a, a defense wall around a city, it's easier to keep the invaders out 
than to fight the invaders once they're in that city, right? So it makes sense. So consider what your problems might be. Maybe you deal with stress. Maybe you can't sleep. Maybe you're over, you've got uh, weight issues. We're going to talk about that. Maybe you deal with headaches or acne or your digestive system is off. Digestive issues are one of the most common complaints of today. And I tell you, I actually, I feel bad for gastrointestinal doctors. Why? Because it is so hard to diagnose GI issues because there are so many of them. And it could be in your upper GI, in your lower GI. You've got so much to your gut. It's unbelievable. Starts with your mouth and it ends down below. And it is very difficult to diagnose GI issues. But boy, I'll tell you, essential oils are very beneficial. I can't tell you how many people have had GI issues relieved with essential oils. I've got a daughter who has got IBS, irritable bowel sy sy uh, syndrome. And when we diagnosed her, when we went through the great lengths, and it took months and a lot of hard work, when we finally got that diagnosis, they, what did they want to do? They wanted to put her on pharmaceuticals. Well, guess what? She doesn't take any pharmaceuticals now. What she does take is Digest Zen soft gels, and she is able to keep her IBS in control. She takes one with almost every meal, especially when she's going, you know, she might be going into a flare. She'll take one with every meal, and it actually helps with her digestion. All right, um, uh, what about um, anxiety? What about depression? Uh, what about cold sores? What about uh, ADHD? What about uh, kidney infections? Oh, that's a big one, kidney infections. One drop of lemon oil in your water every day prevents you from getting kidney infections. Now, is that, is that a silver bullet? No, there's plenty of other things that you need to do. Your diet needs to be refined. You need to lay off of the, of the sugar. You need to lay off of the sodas. You need to lay off of some of those bad foods. And it sure does help. And, and here's a good thing. It sure does taste good, too. What about allergies? There are so many people that deal with allergies, and they suffer day in and day out with allergies. What if I could tell you that there is a way that you could actually find relief. All right, here are the 10 most wonderful oils. If you have these 10 oils in your life, you could actually help yourself with a myriad of healthcare issues. We've got frankincense for head tension, for anti-aging, lemon for cleansing, detoxification, melaleuca or tea tree for skin support or immune boost. You've got peppermint for cooling and for giving energy. We've got deep blue for muscle and joint pain or on guard for immune support. And here's that oregano I was talking about, major immune support. Digest Zen for digestive support, breathe for respiratory support and lavender excuse me, for calming and for relaxation. So we're gonna go through each of these 10 oils and I'm only going to give a brief overview of some of the wonderful things that each of these oils can do for you. Frankincense, must start with frankincense. It is the king of the oils and it was once named liquid gold. It is a very important oil and it is a very old and ancient oil. Look at, look at these health conditions that could be benefited from, from this one single oil. Alzheimer's, arthritis, asthma, balance, cancer, depression, fibroids, immune support, inflammation, mental fatigue, pneumonia, tumors, ulcers, warts, and wrinkles. Just imagine, does anybody have any of these issues? How about lemon? Bites, stings, blood pressure. Anybody got high blood pressure? Common colds, concentration, constipation, depression, digestion, dry throat, kidney stones, lymphatic cleansing, physical energy, stress, varicose veins. Melaleuca or tea tree, 
Now, this is an unbelievable oil. It's it's actually an oil that is um, it's it's a protocol um, actually for uh, uh, for like an antibiotic, acne, allergies, athlete's foot, bacterial infections. That's why I say antibiotic, bronchitis, candida, earache hives, lice, pink eye, tonsillitis, nail infection, dermatitis, or eczema. Anybody out there suffer from eczema? That's actually an outward display of something that's going on within, okay? And we can talk more about that, but eczema is a very um, common problem that people get. They get uh, red itchy patches and it's usually on joints. It could be on your on, on your armpits or on your uh, on the inside of your elbows or on the back of your knees, um, and it's very very um, uh, it's very annoying. It's very annoying. Melaleuca to the rescue. Okay, my there we go. My computer wasn't advancing. All right, here we got peppermint essential oil. How about an invigorating morning wake up? You might want to take a snapshot of this slide. How about nausea or hiccups or headaches or stress and tension or cooling? What if, what if you're hot I mean, down south here, especially those of us that are on this call from down south? How about digestive issues? Doterra actually makes an enteric coated peppermint soft gel for issues such as IBS, Crohn's disease, digestive issues, ulcerative colitis. You can actually take a, a soft gel and they made it just for some of these issues. And what it does is it survives the acids in your stomach and it gets down to where it needs to be and it releases its wonderful oil to help with some of these issues. It's a wonderful, wonderful oil peppermint. All right, here we got the CPTG, got to talk a little bit about that. And the, the deep blue is a combination of these wonderful CPTG essential oils. We've got wintergreen, camphor, uh, peppermint, blue tansy, how about blue chamomile, helichrysum, and osmanthus. Look at what they do for pain, for soothing, for healing, to reduce the inflammation. Inflammation equals pain. Everybody needs to reduce the inflammation in their body. How about On Guard? This is a wonderful oil and everybody should be diffusing this, especially when you're trying to, uh, to, to purify your air, to keep the viruses at bay, because On Guard is antibacterial. On Guard is antiviral. On Guard is antifungal. It is a wonderful blend and boy, does it smell good. It's good for mold. It's good for the flu. It's good for mononucleosis. Has anybody ever had that before? I did. It's bad. It's good for MRSA. What is MRSA? MRSA is an incredibly resistant Staphylococcus aureus infection. It is bad. And, and it's rampant in, in hospitals and nursing homes. Uh, it's, it's, it's a very, very resistant. Well, why does, why does On Guard work so well? Because On Guard actually gets into the cell where pharmaceuticals cannot. It's good for pneumonia. It's good for sore throat. It's good for staph. Now, oregano is a powerhouse as well and look at look at all of the you know the the, the applications for this anti-parasitic antiseptic antifungal antiviral antibacterial these are some words that we're hearing a lot more these days than ever before it's good for metabolic balance good for digestive support it's a painkiller it's very good for warts candida, cold, and flu. This oil will work where nothing else will. Digestin, we were talking about this for, for digestive blend. 
constipation, nausea, diarrhea, indigestion, Crohn's disease, gastritis, colic, acid reflux, gas, motion sickness, and food poisoning. And if there is anybody on this call that has taken Digest Zen, you know how well this oil works. I know how well this oil works. So instead of all of these things, Tums and Pepto-Bismol and Pepsid and Beano and Colace, what about just grabbing a bottle of Digest Zen? Put a couple drops on your, on your Put a couple drops in the, in the palm of your hand and rub it on, the, on your abdomen where, where you're feeling the pain. Put a couple drops in a shot glass of water and down the hatch and it will help you. What about breathe? Common uses of this wonderful oil is cold relief, sore throats, bronchitis, sinusitis, coughs, decongestion, allergies, lung infection. People put this in a, um, it's a, um, it's a, uh, what do you call, um, uh, it's, an, it's an adapter for a CPAP and you can put the breathe in and, and it actually helps you out even more. It breathe is actually very, very good for, for many things. You can take a, a snapshot of this picture here, um, but a lot of people use it to, to sleep better at night. It's very, very good for just for just all, just everyday general sleep. All right, shower, wake up. You, you need a quiet sleeper. If you got somebody that, you know, that, that, that snores, just try this. Put a few drops on their feet. Put some in a diffuser, all right? You can take a few drops and be very careful not to get this oil in your eyes because it will burn. Uh, put, it, put it above your, your eyebrows, making sure it doesn't drip into your eyes. Put it along the bony part of your cheeks. Put it on the bridge of your nose. Very, very good for, for, for sinus issues, respiratory support, easy breathing. You could rub a few drops on your chest. Um, it's a wonderful oil. And then, of course, we cannot forget lavender, can we? Lavender is wonderful. It smells wonderful. It feels wonderful. You get a bug bite, you put a little bit of lavender, just not even a drop. Just, put, just tap your finger on the top of the, top of the, the reducer cap of the bottle and put a little bit on that bug bite. I did it when I got ant bites and literally I don't even itch. Now I'm not gonna say that 100% this is going to work, but it works a lot of times. You can put it around your ears, but be careful not in the ears um, for, for earaches and for pain for that. Um, it's just a wonderful, wonderful oil. Very good for sleep. All right, you can take a picture of this if you would like. This is just some, some diffuser blends for this time of the year. We need to strengthen our immune system when we're going into cold and flu season. You can't go into cold and flu season, get, get a cold, and then all of a sudden now you want to fix it. It's going to be very difficult. Do it beforehand. Boost your immune system beforehand. It would be just like, let's say we let's say we we're, we go into we go to war with let's just say China or something, and then all of a sudden we decide to to increase our military as we're going into battle. Well, guess what? We're going to have a hard time with that. We need to increase the 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 the, the uh, uh, um, the military. <laughs> Couldn't, couldn't think of it. We need to increase our military before we go into battle, not when we're in battle, right? Wrong time. You build your immune system before you get inundated with a bacteria or with a virus. Get that, get that immune system strong. Get it working. These are diffuser blends that will help you. Take a snapshot of this. Why diffusing? Because when you diffuse essential oils, that is the quickest way to get into your body because it immediately affects your olfaction, it goes into the brain, and it affects your entire body. Diffusing is a very, very beneficial way. And not only that, it just smells awesome. I got a, a diffuser going on behind me, and it's a, it's a bergamot mint. It's a, one of the new oils, and I absolutely love it. I especially love it. Here's why. 
I love bergamot because it is harvested and distilled in Italy, where I'm from. And it just, it means so much to me just to get an oil from Italy. Um, it just makes me feel so good. Um, anyway, enough of that. All right, here's some On Guard diffuser blends. Take a snapshot of this. Um, you know, who, who, who would love to smell cinnamon and clove going on in their home with a little bit of lemon and tea tree added into it? Absolutely beautiful smells. I guarantee you would love the smell of these. And, and again, this is all for, for your immune uh, support. All right, here is some frankincense diffuser blends. Now I know some of these have got a lot of oils, but I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. Take a snapshot before I advance. We've got grounding, we've got calming, and we've got energizing. I mostly need the calming because I tend to be a little on the excited side. All right, how about this? Blemish Buster. Now, isn't that awesome? Tea tree oil, lavender, rosemary, and lemon. You put those according to the drop dosage. The, the rest with what you could use jojoba, you could use uh, fractionated coconut oil, um, and uh, you apply three to four drops. Take a snapshot of this if you would like. Um, and by the way, this entire class will be uploaded to YouTube. So if there's anything that you miss, you can go back later on today and uh, just type in YouTube, type in my name, Barbara Bro, um, and you will find this video as well as many other videos from classes that, um, that I've taught. All right, wanted to talk just a little bit about the Healing Hand Foundation. Now, next time I place an order, I'm buying this hand, uh, this hand lotion um, because it smells wonderful, but mostly because I just learned how important it is to donate to this charitable foundation named Healing Hands. And all you have to do is just Google Healing Hands Foundation to see some of the beautiful things that doTERRA is doing for these underdeveloped countries throughout the world. And one of the beautiful things about it is that 100% of the purchase price goes to this foundation. Do you remember we were talking about Bulgarian rose at the beginning of this class? That's what's in this beautiful oil. And when I told you how expensive Bulgarian rose is, just imagine this is not just any old oil. And I've smelled this oil at different conventions and, and things that I've gone to, but I've never purchased it for myself. And you know all I can say about that is shame on me, but no longer. I'm going to make sure that I donate to the Healing Hands Foundation, and then I'm going to have some beautiful uh, lotion that I can give away as gifts. This is another oil that I have and that I will continue to purchase because not only is this part of the Healing Hands Foundation, but in particular, this is a, a, a benefit and a cause that is very, very dear to my heart. Operation Underground Railroad where literally, when, when you talk about slave trade, there is more slavery going on right now than ever before in the history of the world. And I know a lot of people are saying, what? What are you talking about? We've abolished slavery. Well, guess what? Slavery is still happening. Women and children are the main targets for the slave trade. It's a sex as well as a work slave trade. They force children into child labor, but mostly what they're doing is they're selling people for sex. This oil, once again, 100% of the purchase price is going to Operation Underground Railroad. And if you wanna learn any of the wonderful things that have been done with Operation Underground Railroad, all you have to do is Google it. Operation Underground Railroad, and see how doTERRA actually helps this organization. We have actually, we, we donated a dog um, to this organization and they, they named the dog um, Cinnamon Bark after one of our oils um, because we donated this dog and this dog sniffs out the media 
of the, the pornography that is being sold worldwide, but in the United States, is the largest consumer of this terrible, terrible material. And so knowing that, that we're making a difference to me, it's, it's worth every penny, every single penny. So since 2015, the doTERRA Healing Hands Foundation has donated $6,783,000 to fight against human trafficking, AKA slavery around the world. And what's really beautiful is, is that this oil, it's got bergamot, which is the oil that I remember I told you I love, Ylang Ylang, which is probably one of my favorite smells in the entire world, is from Madagascar. If you have not smelled Ylang Ylang, you are missing out. And of course, frankincense, the king of the oils, sweetened slightly with vanilla bean absolute. And knowing that you are in the fight to eradicate human trafficking worldwide, it makes all the difference. Now, wanted to talk just a little bit about the co-impact sourcing. Look at all of these countries, the purple and the blue. Look at all of these countries that are being used for sourcing. And it's not just that we're going in there and just taking their stuff and paying them minimum wage or less than that. We are actually helping them. We are leaving their communities better than before we came. We are a partner on the ground. We stay there. We help. And they love doTERRA. Wanted to talk just a little bit about the safe containers, and I'm just about done. Because safety is very, very important. You don't want to just put these oils in any old container. So in other words, if you're drinking, if you're drinking water and you're drinking, let's just say, from a water bottle, you don't want to put essential oils in there. Why? Because water bottles are not made with high quality plastics. Now you can put essential oil in high quality plastic containers, but they have to, you have to make sure that it says HDPE. Okay? So you see that little two in that in that triangle? This is what you're looking for. Or you can put it in glass. You can't, you can't go wrong with glass and you cannot go wrong with steel. That's why something like this, not only is this, this is Literally, I mean, I've dropped this thing outside of my car and it, it might get a little scratch on it or something, but this is wonderful. Absolutely love. Plus, the thing that I really love about this is that I put a couple ice cubes in there at night and I leave it on my bedside with, you know, my little lemon oil or whatever oil I want in there and my water. And when I wake up in the morning, I've got cool water to sip on. And cool water is just, there's something special about cool water. Anyway, that's what I really like about my steel container. All right, LRP, if you, if you are a wholesale customer and you are not on LRP, you are missing out. You're missing out on free products, all right? So if you are a doTERRA wholesale customer or if you are getting ready to purchase doTERRA products, you want to ask the person that you are going to be purchasing from, ask them about the LRP. Because this is your opportunity to earn free products. I just redeemed over two, it was about 250 points of products. And it's on its way. It should be here any day. And I got all kinds of good stuff. Shampoos and conditioners and face face stuff and just all kinds of cool stuff, oils, all right? So if you're not on LRP, take a snapshot of this, talk to the person who invited you to this class and, and get help on how to, how to set up an LRP cart. I just set one up for my daughter. She does the LLVs, Lifelong Vitality, and she's going to be a regular purchaser because this is a, a supplement. Um, and so I just signed her up on the LRP yesterday before she went into the hospital to have a baby. <laughs> I went over to her house and I signed her up, or I, I, I'm sorry, I got her, uh, helped her uh, get her LRP cart set up. It's very easy. I can help anybody there that, that needs help with that. All right, some beautiful kits. 
Um, and we've got the Healthy Start. This kit gives you all of the oils that we just now talked about. Plus, it gives you perhaps one of the cutest diffusers on the planet Earth, and it is called Brevi, and it is just adorable. And it gives you these 10 foundation oils, um, and it's the Healthy Start Kit. It's $160. We've got the Simple Solutions Kit that is an actual very small kit, um, but yet it's, you know, it's still, it's for, you know, for those that are on a very tight budget. And let's see, my computer is not advancing. Here we go, the Healthy Essentials Kit. It's giving you a, a larger diffuser, 10 of, of very popular oils. But the nice thing about this kit is that these oils are three times the size of the oils in the Healthy Start Kit, all right? And it's not very, it's, it's, it's $100 more, less than $100 more, but you're getting three times the amount of oils. We have the Healthy Habits Kit, which is perhaps my favorite kit. Why? Because I love supplements. Love, love, love supplements. This gives you the Terrazyme, which is digestive enzymes, which guess what? Nobody gets as many digestive enzymes as they need, and hence, digestive issues. Terrazyme is absolutely essential. I take it every day. PB Assist is giving you your probiotics, your pre and your pro, so some of it is opening up in your upper GI and some in your lower. That's what you need, pre and probiotic. If you want any help with understanding that better, I'd be more than happy to help you. Also, this gives you a beautiful uh, bottle of Deep Blue Rub, which if you have not tried Deep Blue Rub on your skin, you are missing out. You are missing out is all I can say. All right. And also, anybody who signs up with 100 PV or more um, uh, with one of those enrollment kits, you get a free Breathe oil. And this is a Breathe Touch. So it's very, very handy to take around with you. Um, and it's just an, a very, very wonderful oil. So I'm going to conclude this class with Keep Calm. Why? Because there's an oil for that, just like we started, right? There's an oil for that, so we can keep calm, all right? We can, we can handle almost anything that life brings us because God gave us these beautiful essential oils, all right? Now, I've got two guest speakers that are going to present for just a few minutes, and then we are going to um, go ahead and do our giveaway, all right? So, um, Sharon, I'm going to go ahead with you first. You can unmute yourself. And then we will go to uh, Juanita. Go right ahead, Sharon. You've got the floor. Okay, thank you. Uh, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay. All right. Well, um, hello, everyone. My name is Sharon. If I haven't met you, um, I'm just very excited just to share just a, a few things about my journey with doTERRA. And, you know, unfortunately, I got to follow my notes. But uh, but I do want to thank Barbara. Every time I have hear some of her classes, it's always uh, just a world of knowledge. And that's what's so exciting. You learn, you know, more and more every time. But what I, what I was considering, what I wanted to share today was just about self-healing. Uh, and we know that the body will heal itself if it's given the right conditions. And I myself, I have, uh, I've been on blood pressure medicine before, cholesterol medicine, but I stopped taking all of those things probably close to 10 years ago. And then, uh, you know, maybe some time after I stopped that, you know, I was introduced to doTERRA. And one of the things that we know, as Barbara's mentioned, you know, ab about quite a few of the oils, they support all of our different systems. But what I wanted to specifically share about was uh, that the oil Slim and Sassy. And it is a, um, it's an oil uh, that will help you boost your metabolism and also manage your cravings. And this is one of the things that I have been using. I, I bought my first bottle of Slim and Sassy about five years ago, and I never used it. And I didn't really know how to use it. So about, you know, maybe uh, back in May of this year, I decided to just get serious, you know, about how to use all of my oils properly. There, there are many oils, you know, that I use consistently and that have supported everything that I've gone through, whether it's, you know, blood pressure, you know, cholesterol. And uh, you know, just, just one little point. When you take a uh, pharmaceutical drug for one problem, you just started, uh, it could be 10 or more issues in your body or more. You know, that's just, I'm, I'm just kind of just throwing that number out there. So what I wanted to do, I, I'm just so excited about being able to 
uh, do things all natural. But but I, I I won't get into that. I'm just gonna stick with Slim and Sassy. <laughs> and what 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 I wanted to what what I what I feel that Slim and Sassy has done for me is just it's just given me control. Sorry, I have to do this in my car and I have to get that all set up. But anyway, it's given me control over my cravings. And you know, and uh, and so one one of the things that that just in my weight loss journey, uh, I, I wanted to be able to just to have this uh, natural control because there, there's things that you know that are possibly on the market. People use surgery and uh, you know diet pills and all these different types of things, and they're all they have side effects. I know one of the things for me, I wanted to just set my mind to do everything natural, everything. And so Barbara had mentioned earlier about the processed food. Uh, or even just the sugar, you know, that was my drug of choice, you know, and being addicted, addicted to sugar for many, many years. And that's one of the things that in the last, you know, six months, I've gotten off sugar, you know, no processed sugar, no white sugar, or, you know, whatever. And now one of the things about uh, Slim and Sassy, there's, n there's no miracle, you know, what, what, it, what I like about it is that it supports what we're doing. So whatever healthy choices that I'm making, you know, this is where my assistance is. This is where my aid is. If I if I make up in my mind, you know, well, I'm not gonna eat a, at a certain time. And I haven't done a lot of, uh, I, I know Juanita has done a lot of the intermittent fasting. And, and I know uh, doTERRA has just been very, very helpful in that area. But for myself, one of the things that I've done is that I, I, I found a, uh, you know, I decided, you know, which, you know, um, diet plan. And I don't really like to call it diet because for me, it's a lifestyle, a life, a lifestyle change. I'm always going to be watching my weight. Uh, I'm uh, 68 years old, uh, and I'm and I and I and I don't have to <laughs> lose. Uh, but I but I but I, I like to have the mobility and the flexibility to do things. So what I've done is that I've, I decided what I was going to use for my weight control, and and I'm doing the keto method. I started with keto, and every everybody your your program has to be. Um, it, it's uh, you've got to it's got to be for you. You've got to figure out if this works for you. And so I but but of course, you know, we, we have the, you know, behavior modification. But, but what, what I say about keto is keto and common sense. I, I know I made some um, uh, keto icing the other day to go on a cake. And I yeah, so I, you know, because, you know, every now and then you have a, you know, we, we have and I, and I eat natural, you know, sugars, nat, you know, fruit and what have you when I have a crate, you know, when I want something sweet. But I hurt all night long. I, my stomach ache all night long, headache all night long. So what I did the next morning is that I threw it in the trash. That's something that I will not be eating, you know, even though it's keto friendly. So I, but I gave up the sugars. So I, I have my, my diet plan. I gave up the sugars. Uh, I try to walk, you know, maybe 30 minutes a day. And of course I use the Slim and Sassy, you know, and I use the Slim and Sassy, you know, when I want the support, it gives me consistent support in, in all the efforts that I'm trying to do. So uh, one of the things I, I started uh, really getting serious about bringing my weight under control, maybe like June, uh, fit June of this year. And from June of this year until today, today I weighed in and I weighed in at, a, I started at 162. I weighed in at 143 this morning. I've lost 19 pounds. And so my goal is 135. So I've got about eight more pounds to go. And so what, you know, all I can say is that uh, you know, just the, with many other oils, we, we know that just as far as food and exercising and losing weight, it's like I said, it's not a magic bullet. 80% of what we do is going to be our food. So I have, you have to clean up, you know, for me, that's what I had to do. I had to clean up my food choices, you know, and there's so many things I had to learn. You know, we, one of the, the uh, traps that we've gotten into is the fast food, but just go back to cooking, go back to cooking. I can keep it simple. I can pick up the things, you know, that I, you know, that I want to eat. And of course I can, um, uh, um, you know, not have a yo-yo effect. And that's one of the things that I wanted to mention. Sometimes when I've dieted in the past, I'm so excited about getting off the diet so I can eat whatever I want and it has never worked. And that's the definition of insanity, you know, just doing the same thing, expecting different results. And so for me, you know, just, so as I, you know, take off these uh, last few pounds, this is going to be maintenance. You know, I'm going to, you know, maintain this. And, you know, if I decided if I want to lose a little bit more, you know, I'll make that decision. But right now, you know, just uh, the, 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 the results that I've seen, you know, with the Slim and Sassy have just absolutely been amazing. You know, and, the, you know, my cravings are down. Uh, and it's just like, we just have to, you know, work with ourselves. Like I said, it's, there's nothing that's, uh, uh, you know, just a, you know, a magic bullet. And, you know, I'm just all fixed and I'm perfect for the rest of my life. It's going to always be a process. And just, just one little point, you know, Barbara had mentioned the deep blue. on another subject. And I just got my deep blue polyphenol. And it is amazing. 
because I, with, with my walking, I've always been a walker and a climber, and I have always had problems with my shins. And I know Barbara's got me an appointment one time uh, to try to get to the doctor. I was in so much pain, I thought I had fractures in the front of my legs. But with, I've just been taking the, uh, the deep blue polyphenol, and it's just amazing. It, it, and I've only had it, you know, maybe for just like three days. But that, that's just, you know, one more little plug. But anyway, I can stop with that and, um, you know, give one either the floor. Okay, that, that was awesome, Sharon. Thank you so much. So many, so many things to learn and you're definitely uh, motivational, very motivational. So, all right, Juanita, go right ahead. Yeah, I'll just get right into this. Sharon said almost all, <laughs> said some of the thoughts that I would like to say, but I'm really excited to share about Slim and Sassy right now. When someone um, asks me, you know, how are you losing a weight? My slogan right now is slim and sassy is life and um of course like sharon said it's not a magic bullet um but uh i do uh intermittent fasting and it has definitely helped me um you know support my uh metabolism and when it says support metabolism i looked that up and and i was like well what does it mean you know to support my metabolism and you know um at about 30 years old uh when you're 30 your metabolism begins to slow down and now that i'm 40 it's like you know my metabolism really you know uh slowed down and this uh slim and sassy just helps support my metabolism which means that it helps my body just burn um up the calories uh you know for energy just more efficiently and i was thinking about um i i do the uh intermittent fasting the 16 and 8 that means, you know, you, you fast 16 hours and you eat eight. I also do the 18 and um, eighteen and six window of eating is six hours. And then I also fast for 24 hours. But I, I wouldn't be able to do that um, if I didn't have the, slim and sat, the support of the Slim and Sassy. Um, I was thinking about, uh, well, Sharon already spoke about the cravings. Um, you know, like, uh, you ever rode a bike up a hill when you were a kid or or recently and you have the gear shift where you can put the gear shift on easy and you can make it up the hill a little better you know that's how slim and sassy supports me it's like i still have to do the labor i still have to do the work you know you still have to have the willpower and the mind power um to 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 do it but the slim and sassy just really helps take the edge off um and more so um I was also thinking about how Sharon, I know she, she mentioned something about 80%, but I was thinking about Slim and Sassy helps me 80%. And the other 20%, you know, while it's helping me, is that 20% is helping me exercise my willpower. Um, you ever feel like you want to eat, but you're not hungry? It's like here, it's like, I got to tell myself, look, no no i've been in my car on the way to drive to get a bacon and egg and cheese sandwich that i really want and it's full of butter and i've been driving to it and i said no because i wasn't even hungry i just wanted it and i turned my car around i actually did that two days in a row two days in a row but i turned around and drove the opposite direction and i just kind of chuckle at myself but we don't have an infinite reserve of willpower. It's something that has to be exercised and built. And um, I just feel like, you know, with the support that Slim and Sassy has given me, it just really, it really, really helps. Um, I was thinking about this, uh, <laughs> the, the goals. Um, it's put me in a mindset that if it's giving me the support, then I can think more clearly to have a uh, goal set. So I want to be, so I started at my heaviest at 234. I can't believe I'm just saying that all out there like that. So 234 and at 234, I felt depressed. I felt like I didn't want to see myself in pictures. I, I was growing, I was, my clothes were getting smaller. How about that? I liked how that sounds instead of I was getting bigger. Um, and, and things that I like to wear that made me happy, it went to the back of my closet until I got to a point where I was like, you know what? Um, Sharon gave me this article and I read it, how this guy lost weight on, um, with Slim and Sassy and a couple of other oils. And I was like, nah, I got to do something because I really started to like not care. And I look back at some pictures that were taken and 
I felt even worse. So I don't want to um, take up too much time, but going back to the goals. Um, so my goal right now is to be under 200 pounds before my birthday. Right now I'm at 211. So it is 23 pounds down, but it makes a big difference. And yes. I've learned to say, oh, it's only 23 pounds. No, that 23 pounds does makes a, a lot of difference in my health and the way I feel. I feel energized. My knees are feeling better. Um, I can walk faster. <laughs> but, um, and also I have a long-term goal. So when I start to feel like, you know, um, and the, oh, your mind is so convincing when it wants to eat something. It's like, no, because I have a goal. So when I have that goal, I remind myself, and then it's like, no, no is stronger. You know, no is stronger. Um, I like this quote. It says, it doesn't matter how slowly you go as long as you don't stop. As long as you don't stop, as long as you keep going, that one pound, one pound, one pound, you'll turn around and it'll be 50 pounds and you will feel marvelous. Um, just the, the last point, um, I was thinking about um, this challenge, just challenge yourself. With Slim and Sassy, I, I've, I've, I saw that within myself, okay, I get hungry at specific times of the day. And, and that's like seven in the morning, 9.30 in the morning and 11.30, which is an hour before I, um, I give myself a chance to eat. Those that have Slim and Sassy or those that are thinking about getting Slim and Sassy, take note of the times when you feel very hungry, very hungry. And then um, note that. And then when you get your Slim and Sassy or for those that already have their Slim and Sassy, take it 30 minutes before. Take it 30 minutes before that time and see what happens. Okay. And, and I'm just going to end with that because I don't want to talk too long. But again, Slim and Sassy is life. That's awesome, Juanita. Very, very good. And and you know what? You you are such such an inspiration. You know because, you know, with that idea that you said, you know, tw uh, twenty three. What is it? Twenty five pounds. Um, it's like that's just the start. You know, that's just the start. So yeah, that's 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 wonderful. I know I, I know I've got to I've got to get back on a a weight loss uh, program as well. Um, I've been picking up a few extra pounds myself. So anyway, yeah, that's wonderful. Thank you so much, Sharon. Thank you so much, Juanita. If anybody needs any information on that Slim and Sassy, uh, you could just Google, uh, you know, Slim and Sassy doTERRA, and it's going to give you a ton of information on that product. Um, there's all kinds of uh, uh, things that you can do with it. Um, and there's actually a lot of Slim and Sassy products as well, um, which I think Juanita and, and Sharon both know. There's actually a Slim and Sassy gum. Um, and so there's, there's just a lot that you can, uh, there's, a, there's a lot that, that's at your, at your uh, fingertips. So anyway, okay, I don't want to take this too far over. We, we're already a few minutes over our end time, um, but I wanted to open it up for any questions. So first of all, are there any questions that anybody has out there? All right, we've got Bill. Barbara. Hey, Bill. Mail. Oh, never mind, Bill's out. Okay, Francis, go ahead. Are you still recording? I am recording. Shall I take it? Yeah, let me take it off. Questions, yeah. 